Hi, I'm Corey Ballard, and welcome back to another In Focus Tech Talk. Thanks for joining us on another Tech Talk. We are doing a computer series focusing on using the computer with a screen reader. Now, if you're a low vision watcher, we do have a playlist specifically for you where we're gonna be covering the same topics. Take a look at the top of the description. You'll see a link to a playlist for videos that are specific to low vision computer use. We would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Also click that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that, uh, that we release, especially videos in this computer use series. And we'd love for you to use the comment as well. Let us know at the, uh, in the comments what your screen reader uh, choice is, which one you use, or any questions you would like us to cover in this computer use screen reader series. Let's get right into it. In today's video, we are starting out with the Windows desktop and start menu. The Windows desktop is the area of the computer that you're taken to every time you restart your computer or when you perform a specific keyboard command. We are looking at and focusing on using the Windows desktop with a screen reader. Now this is a little different than if you're a mouse user. If you are a mouse user, please take a look at our low vision series, which would pertain to you. Looking at the Windows desktop from a screen reader, there is one keyboard command that's very important to learn. And I say there's one, there's actually two different keyboard commands that are going to get us to the same place. And it's really up to you to decide which one makes the most sense for you. Windows M or Windows D. When I say Windows M or Windows D, what I mean is we're doing a key combination. So first you'll find your Windows key, press and hold it down, and then tap either M or D and release both of them at the same time. Both keyboard commands, Windows M or Windows D, will do the same thing. They will minimize any open windows and take you to your desktop. Now, when we're talking about a screen reader, something to remember and something that's important to remember is that a screen reader can only be focused on one thing or one place at a time. Now, this can sometimes be confusing, especially for individuals who have some remaining vision or if a sighted individual is assisting. Even though a window may be open and, and visually open on the screen, the screen reader may not be focused on that program. So in order to ensure that your screen reader is focused or sitting on the desktop, we'll perform that Windows M or Windows D. For the rest of this video, I will continue with Windows M as it is my preference. But remember, both keyboard commands will work. Let's perform a Windows M. Windows M. In this case, we didn't hear any verbal feedback. What that means is that we're currently already on our desktop. Let's take a look at what it'll sound like if you're not currently focused on your Windows desktop. Start button. Let's try our Windows M a second time. Windows M, desktop, folder view, list view, OBS Studio, 22 of 37. We've got a few pieces of information from our screen reader. First, we heard the keyboard command spoken. Second, we heard desktop. So we now know we're on our desktop. And third, we heard that we're sitting on OBS Studio. That's the current icon we're sitting on. And last, we heard that it was the 25th of 37 icons. I do have a lot of icons on my desktop, but it told us what number icon we were sitting on. Icons are little pictures that represent either a program, file, or folder on your computer and allow you instant access to that. You can think of it as a shortcut. There are two different ways that we can navigate icons on our desktop. First and foremost, remember to do your Windows M or Windows D to make sure you're on your desktop. 
the first method is by using our four arrow keys. We can use e any of the four arrow keys to move around the icons. For example, if I use my up arrow, Open Book 9.0, Team Viewer, Left arrow, Debug.log, Microsoft Teams. As I move around with those arrow keys, each icon I land on, the screen reader speaks out loud. Now this is okay and works just fine, but the issue is if you don't have any vision to know where the icons are in relation to each other, you may not know which arrow key to use in order to find the icon you're looking for. I'm looking for the this PC icon, but I don't know where it is in relation to the icon I'm sitting on. Is it up, down, left, or right? I don't want to keep trying all the different arrow keys to find it because I have 37 different icons. It would take a long time. So that's where the second method of navigating your desktop comes into play. This is a uh, this is called first letter navigation. This concept of first letter navigation will be used many times throughout our upcoming and future sessions. But here on the desktop, the way first letter navigation works is that I will press the first letter of the icon I'm looking for and it will uh, the screen reader will move to the next icon that starts with that letter. Since I'm looking for this PC, let's press T. Text aloud. Text out loud. Now that was not this PC, although this icon started with T, so I'll continue pressing T again. Team viewer. And again, this PC. And I've now gotten to the icon I was looking for. I want to continue showing you one more concept. If I hit T again, text aloud. You can see it started us back at the first icon we landed on. So it will continue cycling through, in this case, these three options each time I press the T. Let's press it two more times to get back to this PC. Team viewer, this PC. Once we've landed on the icon that we want, we simply hit our enter key to open up this option. Enter this PC items view list box items view multi select list box. windows up arrow. And that went ahead and opened up this PC. Now that we have the program open, we do need to close this program. Now we did learn at the beginning of this lesson that we could do a Windows M to go to our desktop. That would work in this instance, but remember, that does not close a program, it simply minimizes it. We will talk about minimizing uh, programs, the taskbar, and multitasking in a future video. But in today's video, just remember that Windows M does not close a program, it simply shrinks it out of the way. We're done with this PC, so we don't want it open up. We want to close it down altogether. So we're now going to learn a new keyboard command, and that is Alt F4. Just like the Windows M command or the Windows D command, we're going to press and hold down Alt and tap the F4 key, the function F4 key, and let go of both of them. Alt F4, back up and sync. We heard the computer say Alt F4, and it closed that program and took us back to our desktop. Thanks for joining us on another Tech Talk focusing on computer use with a screen reader. If you have any questions or you'd love to contact us, please do so. We have three different ways. First, you can give us a call at 414-615-0103. You can shoot us an email at infocus at vision-forward.org or visit our webpage vision-forward.org. Thanks and stay tuned. What? You can't hear me? That's because I'm typing. <laughs>